steer it. <laughs> so for some of the, the younger Wootstalkers here tonight, um, I want to say something that might surprise you. It wasn't always cool to be a nerd. <laughs> I know, it sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous. And this night is the proof of it. The whole idea is it's Nerd Vaudeville. It's a place where we can gather and celebrate nerdhood and geekdom uh, in the rock atmosphere that it deserves. And our next guest is an example of someone who was really at the forefront uh, with his comic strip. Uh, he could have just been regular funny for regular people all the time. But he is true to the core. We met him for the first time at the Penny Arcade Expo. He absolutely killed it in Woodstock in Chicago. You probably know him as the artist who draws Foxtrot. Even in weirdness to his very core. Please welcome Bill Amon. I would never draw 
that's not the <laughs> All right, if you can't tell, um, what I, what I, what I uh, did in Chicago that seemed to work, and I'm doing it here tonight, is I thought I'd show you some of the strips I've done over the years that, that seem like things that would appeal to a Woodstock crowd. Um, you know, when, when you do a comic strip, you know, you're writing for a really wide range of, of readers, and smart cartoonists write strips that the widest possible range of readers will, will appreciate. And then you've got cartoonists like me that, that do strips <laughs> like this. Um, <laughs> So I had to like get learn C in 24 hours and kind of read it to be able to fake it. Anyway, he's got code on the blackboard there, right? I will not throw paper airplanes in class 500 times. Um, internet memes. There are these these things that, that you know if you're like.